Picture this. While you're picking your groceries, thieves are pickpocketing you. Organized crime is nothing new, but across America, these rings are targeting unsuspecting shoppers. Tonight, you're going to meet a man who works on the wrong side of the law for the right reason, to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. Shoppers beware. Inside this San Diego Whole Foods, surveillance video catches a pickpocket in action. Just for a split second, the shopper turns away from her cart. And that is all the man in the checkered shirt needs. His hands covered by a shopping bag hide what he's about to do. The woman, so distracted by the samples being handed out, has no idea this crook walked away with her wallet and handed it off to a partner. A classic move, says master pickpocket Bob Arno. He's got to do it just when she's reaching. That's when she is most vulnerable. Over in the produce aisle, these thieves play a game of double distraction. One talks to this store employee to get him to turn away. His partner in the row behind him swoops in. As the woman in the hat looks away from her cart to pick the perfect apple, he picks up her wallet. She's getting her fruit, yeah, he's getting her he's purse. He's got it. Police release these surveillance videos to San Diego affiliate KGTV, hoping they lead to an arrest. All around the country, theft rings run by sticky-fingered pickpockets are making a killing targeting unsuspecting people. The thieves analyze you very well. They are like a school of fish swimming and then suddenly watching for the weakest victim, the one who is not paying attention. So those are yours? No. Arno so knows the yours. game. The he is, yeah, after good. all, a professional. Down. Thank you. But not in the illegal thief, steal your stuff and never see it again way. Bob gives expert advice to law enforcement on how to catch crooks red-handed. He took me along to show me how to avoid making a pickpocket's job so easy. Here's how it works. As Bob and his wife Bambi casually distract this group, watch the woman's purse hanging on a chair. She's so busy talking, she has no idea what's going on behind her. Did you just take my yeah, wallet? Yeah, so we're doing a story on how when people are distracted, how easy it can be for someone to reach in your purse like he just did. Did you even, did you have any idea what he was doing right behind you? No. Now that everyone is on guard, you'd think it wouldn't happen again. But just as Bob explains how he got away with it the first time, it happens fast. Watch Bob's hand again. It looks like he's leaning on her chair but her purse is going, going, gone. There are ways to avoid becoming a victim. A tip from this expert pickpocket, don't be distracted just because someone appears trustworthy. I mean, I just assume the best in people. I don't think people are out to get me or out to steal from me. So um, yeah, it's very surprising and shocking. Another warning from Bob, if it's easy for you to get to, it's easy for the crooks too. Keep your valuables in the bottom of your bag, not the top. How do you not become a victim? Show me your purse. Do you have um, the purse it's that's... High, it's high up under the armpit. You, most of mine are even higher, more like this. But this one is fairly safe. It's, it's always here. I, it's never on be, behind me like this, never. And if I'm feeling at all threatened, it'll move in front. This Bonnie and Clyde on the right side of the law works in a pair, like many pickpockets, in it for the wrong reasons. Those thieves in San Diego, part of a team, one does the stealing, the others act as a decoy or lookout. I love this scene here because it is teamwork of three, and each one in this team has a very precise duty, an exact job. And something else, they have props. Whether it's a shopping bag deftly placed over a hand, or Bob's tool of choice, a coat draped over a shoulder, blocking what's really happening with those fast fingers. So what's going on back here? So this hand is going to move out here. Now, why? Because now everyone around who sits here, who watches, cannot see what's going on, including the victim. So if I have this like this, we call it the Toreador position, classic. Keep an eye on the cell phone on the table. Now you see it, now you don't. Who's going to talk to you? And they do. Can I talk to you? Do you notice anything missing? Food? Your food is missing still. <laughs> do you want to call me and talk about it? 
call you and talk to you about it? Your phone. Oh, oh my phone. <laughs> you didn't even realize no, I didn't. Oh while he was talking to you that he got your phone. Oh, that's a little nerve wracking. If you're in a crowded area, in a coffee shop with a lot of foot traffic in a major city, doing that and then stepping up anywhere, it's definitely a no-no. And that is Bob's most important lesson. Keep everything in your line of sight where you can see it. This woman left her purse all the way on the other side of the store and walked away to make a transaction, making her a prime target. Do you put that money in your wallet? Yeah, I put that money in my wallet. <laughs> Don't take my stuff. Guess who looks for you? The professional guys who Hello. like stuff. All right, That's the more learning lesson. the story next time you go shopping. Yeah. On you, I guess, right? Right. <laughs> Think men's wallets are harder to swipe? Think again. While I talk to this man, Bob slides his wallet right out of his front pocket and hands it over. Did you feel it? Did you feel anything? I, I, I didn't actually feel it because of all the stuff going on. All the commotion? You were distracted. Yeah. We kind of got you. You see this here, the different angles? That's what the thief is going to look for, yeah. the angles of it. The thieves call it the print of the money. The print of the money are the four corners of your phone or your four corners of the wallet. And I like to do it when you lean. When you just stretch with the card, that's what you're paying attention to. See, does this change the way you carry your wallet? I like it. carry my shoe next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you don't have to go that far. Just do one thing, Bob says, the victim pay attention. So how much of this is about your quick fingers and how much of this is about just them not paying attention? I think it's more about them not paying attention. Victims make it easy for the thief. Crime of opportunity. Absolutely. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Phoenix.